Hi there, welcome to Nighthawk Archery. In this video we are going to describe and demonstrate why the Nighthawk peep sight is the most accurate peep sight you can buy. And the reason it's the most accurate peep sight is it eliminates light diffraction from its peephole. Now what is light diffraction? Well light diffraction is the bending of light when it passes an edge. Now I've got this piece of paper, when light passes the edge of it, it bends. So if I look at the edge of that piece of paper, it is fuzzy. And that is because the light passing the edge is bent and my eyes don't see it. So the edge appears fuzzy. Now if you have a round hole in your peep sight, the same thing happens. You have a round hole and that round hole has an edge all the way around it. And so that edge, of course, will diffract light just like that piece of paper. Now the thing about light diffraction is the dimmer the light, the greater the percentage of light is diffracted. So as it gets darker, this diffraction increases. Now let's say you're shooting a 3D. Okay, and you're going from target to target, you're shooting different directions in different light conditions. And if you're in a situation where the light is brighter on one side of the peep sight than the other, then this will happen. The diffraction will be greater on one side of the peephole than the other. And the center of the peep will move over. So they remember the light diffraction, you're, you, when you look through a round hole peep, what you're looking through is light diffraction. Now let's say you go out hunting in the afternoon, and you're waiting on your stand, okay, and of course the sun is going farther and lower and lower and lower on the sky, and it's becoming darker and darker, and of course if it becomes darker, the diffraction keeps increasing. And so if the diffraction increases to the point where it impairs your dominant eye, then your eyes will switch dominance. And let's, you can demonstrate this to yourself. Now I'm right eye dominant, so if I point at something with my left hand, okay, and I, I now have my right eye, my finger, and that object all in alignment. Now, if I impair my dominant eye by bringing my finger up, now I no longer am pointing at that object. I am pointing off to the side of the object. At 20 yards, if your eye switch dominance, you will miss your target by two or three feet at least. Uh, this is why people gut shoot animals or go out and take and empty their quiver at an animal and never hit it because their eyes have switched dominance. Now this cannot happen with a Nighthawk peep sight because a Nighthawk peep sight doesn't have any diffraction in its peephole. And let me demonstrate this to you or describe it. Now a Nighthawk peep sight looks like this. Now these slots, in these slots, all the light that passes through, or nearly all of it, is diffracted. And as you can see what's happening, right? As this light is diffracted, we now have created a square peephole. And the square peephole is, starts at this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner of the peep sight. It can never go past that because there's no edge on the square hole. So it always, the, the diffraction always has to be confined to the slot where there is an edge. It cannot occur in a peephole. And also you're, you're sighting with the actual peep sight because these little four corners are the peep sight. So with the Nighthawk peep sight, you sight with the peep sight. Around old peep sight, you sight with diffraction. 
Now, there's one thing to sit and describe this to you, but it's another thing to be able to demonstrate it. And so this next little clip is a demonstration of the Nighthawk peep sight and the accuracy under poor lighting conditions. Now these are three arrows that I shot at 20 yards using a number four Nighthawk peep and a fiber optics pin. Now please watch. Hi there, welcome back. I hope you found that little clip interesting. It just shows to demonstrate what you can do when you get rid of the diffraction in your peephole. But anyways, let me thank you for your time and hey, may every arrow be an X.